Hello everyone, so Studio is here and today I'm doing my one week recap and honestly it's not even really a week, it's more like one day recap. Um, I had planned to start this mock so much sooner than I did um, and unfortunately I started it today. Uh, this past week I had a lot of obligations uh, some conducting gigs and stuff for masters and uh, other job job stuff that I had so uh, unexpectedly unexpectedly busy um, this week and a lot of unforeseen circumstances but uh, we're starting off we're starting off with uh, one week and I did promise to get a mock review out by Monday so here it is let's get into uh, my thought process and how I'm going about building this mock and uh, yeah let's play the intro Welcome back to Story Studios, and this is day one on making the Yoda versus Palpatine duel in the Clone Wars. Um, so I'm excited. We're about to do some concept drawing. I'm not quite sure exactly how. I do know what exact scene I want to portray. I want to portray the scene where Yoda is deflecting Palpatine's lightning and trying to hold up and levitate Anakin. So like they're on like sort of this platform that is at an angle, it's like it's like going down. This is a very crude drawing, but like here's like the railing for the platform. The platform is like broken and very open. Um, and you're gonna have like, you know, Yoda's gonna be, you know, this is, this is Yoda. <laughs> uh, he's gonna be here. He's gonna be holding his lightsaber, blocking the Lego uh, lightning the Palpatine will be having. So like, that's like the Lego lightning pieces yeah anyway um palpatine's gonna be like here i'm gonna give him like a i'm gonna give him a hood and a cloak and everything um but i'm gonna be using like an actual palpatine figure i'm just gonna give him that stuff he's gonna be there this technically is not levitating this is like attached to uh, a walkway up here it's just like on the brink of on the brink of falling so yeah um, this is going to be attached to something up here, and then this technically is going across to a building. I'm not quite sure if I'm, I'm probably make part of the building, like, out of bricks and, you know, stone and stuff. Then there's, like, these beams, <laughs> these, like, array of beams underneath I'm gonna have to build that go across everywhere, and there's, like, antennas, and there's, like, lights and stuff underneath. And then Yoda's also force holding up Anakin who, you know, just gonna build, you know, Lego Anakin, I guess. He's just like, he's out. Like, he is, he is donezo Palpatine, like, shot him with lightning and everything. So, he's levitating. I'm gonna have to use clear pieces or something, like, some sort of clear rod to hold him up. <clears throat> and also, there is a... I wanna say there was, like, a... There's, like, another floating platform over here. Or there, there's just, maybe there, it's just a platform. I don't know if it's floating or not, but like, <laughs> from what I remember, there was something floating. So we're gonna have that. Um, there is like a generator in the center. There's like a center circle up here that leads to another walkway. And the generator is gonna be here. So yeah, not the biggest mock is definitely gonna be I think it will be fine if it just takes up this this piece right here. Like I don't think it needs to be any bigger per se. So in comparison to this uh, stud board sheet, we're gonna have a from a bird's eye view. If we're looking at this, we're gonna have the 
building that the main walkway is connected to probably like taking up this much space building uh this is the walkway that hasn't broken off and this is like the walkway that's leaning at an angle you're gonna have palpatine there and then yoda there <laughs> that's about to fall and then you have anakin floating in the air so anakin then i'll have like i guess the circular generator is gonna be here i'm really gonna have to like we watch that scene a lot because this is really from memory and then there's gonna be like uh beams and antennas underneath i have to create i have to create some sort of depth look so that it looks like he's fallen into nothingness or maybe something that i was thinking is uh you know how like you know you have the building here if you look at it from a certain angle i can like angle pieces in to look like the building keeps going sort of have like uh i don't know if you know if i were to just have the the stud sheet the stud plate right here i'd have pieces on it that looked that made it look like the building was going was continuing to go down and like you know like maybe another building over here so it looks like there's more depth than there really is <laughs> and maybe i'd put some studs on here or what pieces to make it look like there's beams and stuff <laughs> so yeah something like that um I, I i will figure that out when we get there <laughs> um so we're gonna do something of that sort with the pieces, gonna give it that depth look. I like it. I'm just gonna mark this depth look so I don't forget that. Uh, so we have a depth look. Uh, if we were to do size, like if we were to do a side view, here's the base plate. Um, I'd like the building to be like pretty tall. Here's the walkway. Uh, minifigure height would be maybe that. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Like maybe like, I don't know, I guess maybe like five. Five minifig height. <laughs> I'm thinking about. Um, then you know that's gonna be dangling at an angle. So yeah, it's gonna be not the tallest thing. It's definitely not gonna be as tall as the last mock, but it's gonna be. <clears throat> you know, it's gonna be. It's gonna be decent enough. And I think the depth look. If I'm able to get this right, because that's gonna be amazing. If I do, that's gonna look really good. So, I'm actually not going to, I feel like I'm going to have to build potentially this first, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to build that first. So, I'm going to get out, I guess, I guess a lot of tile pieces or I don't know. Maybe stud pieces will look good. I think I, I am gonna have to use towel pieces for most of this. And I'm not quite sure how many towel pieces I have. So we're gonna get out all the towel pieces and see what I can work with. All right, everyone. So this is what I've been doing. As I've been talking to my good friend, Michael. Um, yeah, so this is sort of like the depth look I'm trying to go for. I need a lot more tile pieces. So like, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm gonna have to, I guess, order some some more tiles or, or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but like sort of like the depth look I'm going for, like it's just narrowing in on a point. These are supposed to be like the rooftops of like some dome shaped buildings, trying to give it like you know more depth and stuff. Now, up here, this area right here, this is gonna be the building. Like, this is going to be the, the actual building when it, it comes up. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the building, you know, come out from this darkness. But then it's going to, like, start to slant. So it has, like, you know, it sort of, like, just blends in. Not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but I'm thinking about it. Um, we do have some nice piping using Technic pieces going across because it's the industrial sector. Um, so... And we're looking down it's it's gonna look like there's pipes and stuff <laughs> this is the this is a lower platform with like some red blinking lights and uh random rusted uh poles and stuff these are just being held up by 
these pieces really nothing else but yeah this is uh this is what it looks like so far i'm yeah i'm gonna need to just order more of these pieces i guess um and hope that they come in before i head back home i'm thinking of maybe having like i don't know like a door entrance to the building here then an upper door entrance up here with the actual platform and then yoda here palpatine you know holding anakin so that's the that's the design that i'm going for right now i'm gonna need to start building like pillars going upward and across that way so this is like the general framework i'm thinking of building pillars like like here, I've left some pieces with studs on them. Give like a good base or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that or like what technique. I don't know. I might just use you know, like a bunch of two by four bricks, and uh, you know this might be that might be it. I don't, I don't know. I, I I'm I'm uh, I'm thinking or I'm experimenting with uh with stuff so i also have a bunch of two by ones i might use so i don't know i don't know which one looks better maybe i'll use both just because the industrial sector you know there's a lot of like asymmetry and just random stuff so i don't know maybe i'll use maybe i'll use both um types of poles for this all i know is that the platform is going to come out here the broken one is going to be slanted downward there's going to be random these are gonna just be randomly in the air <laughs> like oh okay now that i'm thinking i could have like random pieces coming up here to show like buildings i like that i think i'm gonna i think i'm actually gonna do that i might not need more tile pieces i might just need to build a bunch of mini mini buildings <laughs> out of pieces such as like cones and like cylinder shapes and stuff so i think probably what i'm gonna need the most bricks for is like building the actual like building building <laughs> which huh. yeah I'll, I'll think about what that is i'm trying to remember if it's gray or brown mostly i'm gonna have to go back to um i'm gonna have to go back to the episode and we look at that but whatever it is um i don't care it's gonna be it's gonna be used so yeah that is what i have so far i know i it's been a very busy week i definitely had plan to get more than just this done um i just had a lot of work this weekend with grad work but after thanksgiving i'm um, actually no during thanksgiving week um like a lot of my classes go online so i'm gonna have uh, plenty of more time to work on mocks and videos and stuff so i'm sorry i've been slow coming out with videos recently i'm gonna get back up to that uh stay tuned this week i will be making a review for that police gunship over there which is a pretty nice set this so. is sort of what i'm getting at for like the whole mini city thing so like you know looking above there's different types of uh you know um i guess levels for each of the buildings i just want the buildings i just want down here to look like there's a lot of junk and then there's a perception gap so like i'm just trying to get sort of like that <coughs> Yeah, sort of like just that depth <laughs> um, using a bunch of studs and stuff. I might, I might, you know, I might do a Lego vlog and just take a trip up to like the closest Lego store, which is a pretty long drive, but I kind of don't care. Um, and then might go to pick a brick and get just a crap ton of black studs so I can make a bunch of these uh, buildings and stuff, which I think would be would be probably a good idea um so yeah i don't know i might do an adventure at some point because i definitely don't have enough pieces here right now to continually keep making these sort of building uh designs that i have i definitely want like the whole board to be filled with that and the way the amount of lego i have right now supplied it's just it's not going to happen that way so yeah, I guess uh, I guess we'll see how that works out, and what I'm gonna have to do to compensate. Possibly, I, don't know. I, I really want to try to make these different levels everywhere. So, 
I think that would be really cool. I think that would give a really awesome look, especially looking from like up above and stuff. Yeah, that already looks pretty cluttered. So that's the goal. Uh, that's the plan at least. So I'm probably going to redesign some of this by week two. But yeah, that is what I've decided to stop on. I think I'm going to make some more Technic pipes going across randomly, maybe at different levels, probably like more up here, maybe going diagonally. Uh, see how that works out. So yeah, I will see how that goes. And I guess that is it for this week. Thank you everyone for watching this technically one first week recap. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. Click that bell icon if that bell icon's not on. So you get notified when I'm posting more updates to my mock building. Also, thank you everyone for your support. It really means a lot to the channel. Um, thank you for everyone who has subscribed. I really appreciate all of you. And uh, yeah, we are on the road to 300 subs. So let's all get there. All right. This is Story Studios. I'll see you all in the next video.